All right, good morning. Today we are filming an assumptions video featuring my beautiful fiance. I so, d before we even start, 90% of the questions was something about, Us are we married? married? And we are okay, not we are not, we already not. answered this on... I know we always say it because we call each other husband and wife. But those are just nicknames, that's the We're thing. We're allowed to call each other nicknames, we're allowed to use names that we want. In our heads, we're both married, it just takes some time Legally, to Legally, we're not do married. It. Yeah. So we're allowed to use nicknames and not. <laughs> I promise you, when it is time for the wedding, we will film it. Yes. This isn't gonna be a secretive thing or nothing. Yeah, we're not. We're going to film wedding. it, okay? Like we wouldn't have shown the venue or anything, or filmed the venue if we just weren't gonna show it. We're just trying to figure things out. We're we're not married yet, and we we're not gonna hide it. We're gonna film it. Yeah. Like we I wouldn't hide, hide it. I wouldn't. I well, no, I just wouldn't hype it up and then not show you guys. That to me wouldn't feel right. We already answered this question on another video. It's the one where we were cooking, so you can go watch that for the answer. That's that the end is of that. Where that is the find final out time. Where the rings come in place. Yeah, that is the that. final time I will answer that. So go watch the other video. Okay, to start, this is just a good question. It says. I'm so tired of seeing people assume Savannah was a fan and that's how she found you. Or I guess so, she assumes that people think she's a fan and that's how she found me. That's not the case. The case is, I don't know how, but I miraculously popped up on her Instagram. You know how you can go to suggestion? It's hey. suggested. She didn't even know I had a channel until like two months after we started talking. Yeah. And I physically thing. asked her, I was like, did you find me off of YouTube? And she was like, what? Like. YouTube. Yeah, and the, okay, so here's here's know. where all this comes into play because a lot of people are like, oh, well, if he had so many followers on your Instagram, like, that would be, like, the first thing you would look. And I'm from New York where, like, everybody thinks they're a SoundCloud rapper or they're, like, a YouTuber. And somebody from, no offense, but, like, Arizona at, what, 18, 19, you're not gonna think they're like, oh, yeah, I'm famous. You're gonna be like, oh, it's just another YouTuber, like. Just another like kid that thinks he's good at YouTube. Yeah, I understand where where that like. But I know, I and I get that. But like, that never influenced her decision to come out here. We were like two to three months in when I asked her. I was like, so how did you actually like find yeah. me? Did you find me off of one of our videos? And she's like, what do you mean by videos? I was like. Uh, it was actually YouTube? really funny though because there was this one night and we we're on Facetime and. <clears throat> I think it was like, it was October or November. It was October. And one of the things was, <laughs> I was like, oh yeah. So it's like when he told me he had a YouTube channel, I'm like, yeah, okay, like cool, whatever. Because again, I was not thinking like, oh yeah, he's like this big deal. No offense. I'm not. But, no. but yeah, and then he, I was like, okay, so what's the name of your channel? He's like, just my name. And I'm like, okay. But then I was like, it was about your family's channel. Yeah, I'm like, what is it? And then he would not tell me. He would literally I not did tell not me. I'm want. like, okay. I was like, like, but I wasn't tripping. I was like, whatever, like. Yeah, I wanted her to know me based off of me, and that's how. Even to this day, she doesn't even watch our videos. She'll watch yeah, them like, just to laugh, but. There's some things that I'll watch that are super funny because, like, I, I remember the day, and I'm like, oh my god, that is so funny. Like, I want to, I want to see how yeah. it was edited and just like replays. Video, and it was just, yeah. So no, she was not a fan. She uh, just was lucky enough to find me. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, there's that one. Oh, and that one was by Mary Hopcroft. Okay, so let's get on to some good ones. Hmm. Some juicy ones. Oh, this one. I assume you moved out so your girlfriend could spend the night with you or weeks. Uh, I moved out because I just felt like I was ready. Like, I just, it's good to have my own space. I kind of like having my own space. And yeah, it did make it easier for her to stay. She didn't have to stay here at my parents' house with me at my parents' house. Like, it just, it, it just worked out. And there's nothing wrong with moving out. Like, I'm content, I'm happy, we're good. Um, you wanna choose one? Oh wait, I wanna answer that one. This one's by Olivia Dimock. Dimock? I assume that you were scared to open up about getting a tattoo. I wasn't scared about opening up about it. I just know how some people feel about it. And at that moment, I know how my parents felt about them. But at the end of the day, they were super supportive. They love it. They don't care. Yeah. It's just at the moment, like, you just Scared. never want to disappoint your parents. Yeah. And so that's just, that's all it came down to. It's just disappointing. You were so, this is for Alex, by the way. You were so close to Crystal, even though you moved home. 
you moved, I guess I moved out, because you have issues with parents slash fosters leaving. Um, so yes, I am close to my parents. I am a mama's boy. I don't care. I love it. Mom's like my I, best I friend. I think it's sweet. And mom's honestly, I don't mind having a kid. Friend. My son, if I have one, God will only. I really hope that I'm close to him. Yeah, there's nothing because wrong with that. There's just something better than mom and, and duo. Uh, no, it's not because I'm scared of them leaving. Like, I am 20 years old now and they've been here through it all. Honestly, I've moved past that for the longest time I've been past that. I'm just close to my mom. I like her company. She knows how to help me when I need help. And she's always there for me. And I don't know, she's just super supportive and she's exactly what a mom should be. Yeah. And I she's agree. just always happy and has good energy. So I don't know, I always like being around here. This one is by Marilyn Iris. Where's James and Spencer? I miss you guys. James is moved in with another friend. We're still best friends, we hang out all the time. It, since football started, we love to do like fantasy football and all that. So we go and we go watch the games and eat some food. So we still hang out, we're good. I love James, he's just living somewhere else that benefits him, uh, cause he goes to work. Uh, he's working somewhere else. And then Spencer's good, him and I are good now. We did have a little stumble and bump in the road, but that's just how it is. It's, that's how life is. That's how family is. No one's perfect. No one is going to be rainbows and sunshine all the time. We had a bump in the road, but we're working our way back. That's just how it is. But we're good. He's working. I'm working. I'm doing my own thing. He's doing his own thing. But at the end of the day, we will always be family and always love each other. Okay, I'm going to let her answer this one. I assume you would want to go and try college. Love you and Savannah, by the way. Aw, we love you too. And that's from Erica's Hourglass. Yeah. So I'm actually in college now. I am in college. Yeah. I start in a couple weeks, but um, I am in school. I'm doing it full time and online for criminal justice. That's my major. And um, I'm working towards my bachelor's degree. So yeah, I'm so excited. I am really excited because I I always, I've always had like, I knew always what I wanted to do was like college or like, I was even gonna do like the Coast Guard. I was gonna go into the military. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. For me, I've answered this a bunch of times, but I'll answer again. School has never been my strong suit. I was never the best in school. I never like failed or anything. I just didn't personally like school. I never really been good at it. Obviously you have to do it. But college right now, I just don't feel like is for me. If I have to, if I absolutely have to, then yeah, I'll go to school. But for me, this, this is my job and this is what I love to do. Obviously there's more I can learn. I can go to school to get better at videography, but for now, I don't feel like school is where I should be. If that changes, I'll let you guys know, but yeah, I, I'm not doing college right now. Uh, I could do this one. This one's by It's Just Gabs. I assume you wish you waited longer to propose to Savannah. Um, no, I actually think it was perfect timing, honestly. I, for me, I really thought about it. It wasn't just like, a, oh, let's do it. I thought about it and I felt like it was perfect timing. Like, if she's the one I want to be with, why wait like seven years or like eight to nine years before I do that? I'm gonna try to find like one or two more. It's just a lot of them were super. A lot of them are about like, you guys are married. Yeah. yeah. So this question has just been asked a lot and it was asked one more time. It just said, I assume that Savannah was like the reason why Spencer didn't move in or James. That's not the reason. Spencer actually wanted to move in with his brother Weston and I never stopped him or anything. I was like, yeah, that's fine. Like if Josh wanted to move in, I'd be like, heck yeah. But he has his own thing going on. And so it, there was nothing, anything bad about that. Like her coming into the picture didn't force that away. He just wanted to live with his brother. Yeah, and, and then, I always I always try to push him to like, don't hang out with friends. Don't hang out with Spencer, go do your thing. And I never have a problem with him going and just doing his own thing. Cause I feel like it's good for us like to have our own space. Yeah, exactly. So. And with James, he just, he wanted to go to work and like, he became really good friends with an old, uh, an old classmate that moved back down. And so they wanted to live together. And so it was just like a perfect opportunity. She was already down here. So why not we just move in? So she doesn't have to get her own separate apartment and just things like that. And we, we were already, were we okay? Well, we were already dating already. We were like three weeks before our engagement. Yeah. Oh, it was a month exactly, actually. 
Yeah. But she has nothing to do with that. It's just Spencer wanted to do his own thing and James just did his own thing. So it just worked out. She has nothing to do with any of like, if there's ever been problems with me, James or Spencer, she's never been a part of that. She's not a, she's not a troublemaker. She doesn't cause problems. She's just there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> you just do your thing. It just worked out. And we're living together and it's fantastic. Cause I, I get a B. Bug. Yeah, we got a, we're raising a little pug and I get to live with my best friend 24 seven. And it's great. So those are some assumptions. A lot of them were super repetitive. So they're just, we tried to answer as many as we saw. I'm gonna say this in the nicest way possible. This is the last time I'm addressing the whole, are you married thing? So please don't ask that anymore. Like it's, if we're, when we get married, we will have a video. Like, yeah, um, the other thing, I, I know it probably threw some people off because of his birthday posts. But we I, just, I always call him my husband. Yeah. And, and so, like, uh, we're not married. And we're it's kind married. of just easier. Like, honestly, it sounds better. Like, oh, who is she to you? Like, if I'm introducing someone, it's like, oh, yeah, she's my wife. Like, it's just easier. Like, yeah, we're not legally married, but it's just, and they're nicknames for now. Like, it's just, that's just how it is. So this is the last time I would like to address the whole married thing. We're not married. If you have any questions, you will know. You will know. Will there will be a video. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the assumptions. I hope you guys liked the new banner. And uh, I hope you guys liked just everything that's happened. It's been a good month. It's been a good uh, head into 2023, which is unbelievable to say, but we're almost there. Yeah, the, we're this almost year flew by fast. Almost two months. We've already been, she's already been living here. Almost a year. For almost a year now. That so. is so crazy to me. Uh, I hope you guys liked this video. Sorry we dragged. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, let us know. Let us know what other videos you'd like to see. And uh, love you guys. And I will see you next time. Watch out.